Hello everyone and welcome back. This is a very early Father's Day gift that was uh, just received yesterday. And of course there is assembly required. It's a uh, Garant and uh, it's the Pro Series. It's pretty heavy actually. So it's just basically the uh, pan, the two handlebars, and the box with the wheel, rim, and uh, leg components. So we're going to have a little peek now, see if we can see what's inside. Oh. Stay on track. This is very difficult. I mean, this one hand is always is, isn't it? That's the fun of it all, though. camera down would make more sense wouldn't it Andy yes it would okay put my knife away and it looks like a uh, 4.8 by 4 dash 8 looks like a 12 inch tire that's the outside diameter and possibly an 8 inch rim and is it inflated it is inflated pretty soft but it is inflated yeah, oh, all of that. They thought about a grease nipple. That's probably why they call it industrial. Is there another one on the other side? No, 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 no. Just the one grease nipple. Okay, happy with that. That is quality, or at least a little bit of quality. Well thought out. Uh, we have the shims that go underneath the pan. Okay. We have the extended legs, kind of kickback, so it's, I guess it's better stability. Uh, we have uh, a bag of goodies here. Oh, and look at that. The assembly procedure. Uh, look at that later. We have the extra, looks like uh, the legs, the main part of the legs that stems up from the, uh, from the wheel and from the Pan. And then we have some bracings here that would probably go up to the front of the pan where the wheel is up on top. And this must be the backing plate somewhere. I don't know. I didn't realize it was coming with this, but we'll figure this one out. That must be the back plate that keeps everything stre strengthened. So now we have to get that bag broke open and assemble. And here are the remaining parts. Obviously this is the main the shaft there, the silver thing you see. That would go through the tire. And these plates here mount onto the wood. And of course that bar goes through, the black goes through, uh, sorry, the silver goes through those two black ones. And uh, that is the front kick. I guess that protects the wheel right in front. And here is the bag of goodies. Oh boy. Uh, looks like half inch wrench. And uh, I think maybe that's all we'll need is a half inch wrench. Some long bolts there, washers, and some nuts. And they look to be very plenty. And here is the instructions. We have some measurements. That's cool. On the side here. So you can see what we're referencing here. Um, let me see. Uh, yeah, six cubic feet industrial wheelbarrow. It's the model... T-I-F-S-6-C-T. So, a little bit of work ahead of me here. And, uh, boy, oh boy. It uh, starts off with uh, A. Be sure all the parts are there. B. Assembly requires a few hand tools. A screwdriver. Interesting. Box or open and wrench to fit the nuts. It would be nice if they would have said the size. But I think it is a half inch. It's probably, okay, it says insert, yep, half inch, I think so. So we are ready to roll. Okay, right now we have two uh, shorter bolts locked into those little things down here. And we have the wedge put in place on either side. And we have the main handle inserted through all the all the wood and ready for uh, washers and bolts but I'm sure there's more that needs to be done right now 
with regard to the legs and all that. And that's what we'll be doing next. In keeping with instructions, we've been keeping all our boats slack, just uh, bring them in. So the actual legs are put into the pan there, as you can see, the wedges are underneath, the wooden wedges. And the big legs are put in, and also the extra kick leg, I guess you'd call it, is added. Uh, right here, and there. So they're just for extra, I guess for leg lift, I guess. And this bracket here, uh, you have to take off the whole thing to get these fitted into here, these things. Uh, and then you put it back onto the, uh, the railing here. And of course there's another bolt here and here. And uh, so that pretty well concludes the loose fit of the, the, um, the bottom part of the wheelbarrow, the, the legs. And uh, now I'm going to move to the bracket that goes on the front. Uh, that supports the front of the pan to the wheel. Okay, you have those front brackets set in place, but uh, I'm gonna wait till uh, further in the, the project to get that assembled properly. So I have the tire. As I mentioned, the uh, silver shaft there went through the tire. And of course this side plate, this, this bracket bolts with two bolts here on this side. Nut and bolt on that side as well, and I guess there is, uh, once everything comes together, this is the final touch-up to line up your tire so you have uh, the proper spacings right here at the narrowest point. So you don't get chafing. Right now it's not sitting too bad, but that'll be the final tweaking adjustment. Now here's where the instructions really come in handy when it says to leave everything loose. Uh, I would have, if I had the tire fully assembled, I would have not have been able to move this around. You see, to get this bolt in place for this front bracket, I would have not have been able to do that. I would have had to loosen everything up. So there you go. That's why you leave everything loosey goosey. Okay, so that's the front kick bracket put in place. It was kind of difficult because the metal was flexed out a bit, and so it really had to be pushed in to actually see there. See the, flex, the bit of flex I could get there. So I'm going to look at that in the uh, further on to see about uh, getting that tightened up. I don't think it's going to be a problem, but uh, just seemed like it was wasn't bent properly. But that's very important uh, for the kick plate to protect the wood for when you're throwing over your wheelbarrow and dumping your load front on. Okay, so the front stabilizer bars that connect to the pan here. Uh, you know, they uh, they come up through here and they bolt here. So now everything is put in place. Now the most important thing now is uh, when you tighten everything down, like back here, I mean obviously you align everything, your wood and all that, make sure it's all flush. And you just torque down everything on these uh, on these legs. It can be torqued down. As long as it's locked in place here, in this section here. So we're going to torque these down, we're going to get a socket, now I think it's half inch. Torque this down, take care of all the bracing here, all this bracket here. So this is all nice and tight, all through here. And then we're going to tighten up the this plate here possibly. And um, maybe then these brackets, these front braces here, tighten them all up evenly. You see the spaces here are odd now, but when we do them, we'll have to try to put everything even. But then the last setting will be just sitting here. This has to be even on both sides so that the tire rides. There should be a small little bit of play but it should be a, probably a half inch or maybe more between the two tires and run evenly. Not running you know, to one side or the other such as what I would have here now. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get that done. Okay the legs, the leg section of the wheelbarrow is torqued down. Now as you can see you look at the space between the washer here and the metal of the leg. It's the same distance here. I've also tightened up uh, this extra kick leg here by the extra bolts here, there and on top. And again, uh, look at the spacing here and the spacing there. And that's equal. So the legs are tightened. 
The only thing left to do now is the uh, front brace here, the kick plate, and the uh, wheelbarrow pan bracing. It needs to be tightened and adjust it, as well as this. There's some adjustment here, I think. I believe I recall seeing some adjustment, maybe not. Anything that is elongated in holes means adjustment, such as right here. Elongated means adjustment. That's where you find your play to find uh, where the wheel will ride center and smooth. So that's what we need to do now. And uh, I'm assuming they greased the tire, but at this stage of the game, before I run it, I will be putting some grease in here. I'm pretty sure it will need it. Okay, the kick plate has been tightened down. There was no elongated adjustment here, so I snugged them in on both sides, nice and tight. Everything except this bracing here, which you see has elongated holes, is there anything left to do? I'm going to leave that bracket for last. I think that's what I'm going to do because... Sorry, I got cut off. Um, I'm hoping that the last piece is going to show in the video. Uh, so anyway, these are already torqued down, the, the braces here. So when I flip it over, I'm going to check for spacing. And uh, I'm feeling it, and the spacing on this one is on this side. And the spacing for this one is on that side. So this has to be loosened and adjusted. That's why this one is up, and that one is down. So I'm going to do that now. And get that evened up. Okay, the final part of this assembly is getting this tire even and these plates bolted in. These holding plates or whatever you want to call them. Bushings. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going to snug up the tire. Um, I'm going to push these in as far as they'll go and as far as they'll go on this side. Keeping the tire perfectly even on this side and on that side. Taking a measurement, but making sure these stay snug to the tire. I don't, I don't know play. I don't want the tire to be rocking back and forth, such as like this. No rocking. So once they're snug and the tire is dead center, then I will bolt down, torque down these two bolts here very carefully, and these two here very carefully, ensuring that it's nice and tight against the bushings here on the rim. Okay, everything is now snugged down, all the bolts, bracings, nuts, and whatever. And I have the tire perfectly aligned in the center of the uh, two pieces of wood here. And uh, it's just a little bit of play here in the tire. I just couldn't get it too snug, but I guess uh, it would probably only just cause some chafing here. So now, as you can see, um, Need a few more pounds of air in the tire, and I get my grease gun out and uh, give that a greasing. Okay, a few extra pounds in the tire, and uh, it's been greased. So that's the finished product now, ready to be put into service. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the uh, the video. And uh, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and. Uh, how about a subscription? That sounds really good. Anyway, thanks for dropping by.